We use the word enobosarm in terms of uh, referring to the drug itself. Uh, in the past, historically, uh, testosterone or androgens have worked very effectively against metastatic hormone receptor positive breast cancer. But the problem in older drugs such as halitestin, the problem with drugs like that is that they have a lot of virilization. And so the side effects, of course, in women is somewhat unacceptable, even though they're very effective. This particular drug, Anobisarm, does not have that virilization component. Uh, it's a selective androgen receptor modulator. And so it offers a very different form of targeting the uh, endocrine pathway in metastatic breast cancer that's hormone receptor positive, but it doesn't have the side effects as other androgen receptor uh, drugs. So uh, we look at the use of this drug as um, something very different than uh, tamoxifen, for example, uh, or the aromatase inhibitors. All of these have different mechanisms of action. So as the metastatic breast cancer becomes more resistant to other endocrine therapies, we offer anobisarm as a different uh, target, a different agent that should overcome that resistance with very, very low toxicity. In the United States, for example, we don't have access to androgens anymore for the treatment of breast cancer. Halitestin is no longer being produced. And so this drug really uh, meets a whole new market, really expands the options for uh, endocrine therapy for this type of breast cancer. There was an older pilot trial of 22 patients, highly pretreated, more than four uh, prior endocrine therapies as a median, and we had a 35% clinical benefit rate at six months. This particular trial, which is an international trial, we were looking at two different doses of Anobisarm, 9 milligrams and 18 milligrams. They, uh, the study is not powered to compare the two doses, so they're basically two parallel phase two trials. It was, had a two-stage design. We're looking at a clinical benefit rate at six months of more than 30% in order to achieve efficacy and take it to the next step. Uh, again, the study has met its accrual, uh, but there are still patients being treated. But so far, we have actually met our first stage, and so we are now completing the second stage. The second stage includes 44 patients in each arm that have androgen receptor positive, estrogen receptor positive metastatic breast cancer. So we've been very successful in terms of our clinical benefit rate, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to, uh, to take this forward into clinical practice. So again, the ultimate aim is to offer a different type of endocrine therapy. Right now, in terms of breast cancer, we have selective estrogen receptor modulators like tamoxifen. We have aromatase inhibitors. We have uh, selective um, estrogen receptor down regulators, but we don't have anything else. And so what this does is allow the selective androgen receptor modulators for hormone receptor positive breast cancer. It's a whole new sort of class of drugs so that patients who have advanced disease that's very indolent, does not require chemotherapy, can remain on a very non-toxic endocrine therapy. So it really opens up a whole new class of drugs for that patient population. I think I would like them to keep their eyes open for the further development of this drug. Um, we hope to take it to the next level uh, for FDA approval, for approval in clinical practice, um, and that they need to understand that the toxicity profile of this drug is extremely mild. No myalgias, tolerated very well, no virilization, good energy level, uh, so that they need to just keep their, their eyes open to see this drug uh, put into clinical practice.